Welcome back to our Japan Vlog Series 2020. Yesterday we travelled to Narima City to visit the Toei Animation Museum, which is in the same building that various anime such as Dragon Ball and One Piece are animated. Today we decided to stay locally to our hotel and visit a theme park which we mentioned in a much earlier vlog, Asakusa's oldest theme park, Hanayashiki. We hope you enjoy our experience in this theme park on day 18. Hey guys, day 18, uh, the third final full day. It's Monday today and we fly back on the Thursday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we've got three full days left, including today. Um, we are going to go, we weren't sure what to do today, but because no, a few weren't. plans have changed around. Yeah, but we're gonna. have been cancelled, unfortunately. Yeah, so we've gonna, we, Lexi's found like this uh, really old theme park. Japan's that, oldest theme park? In like 1850s it was built. Uh, so we're gonna look at going there today. I'm very tired at the moment. I think it's good just because we've done so much stuff. Yeah, well we've d done something every day for 18 days. Well, 17. <laughs> well, and it will continue. And obviously when we get back to the UK we're gonna be shattered as well. And then we're back to reality then. We've got to do like housework and food shopping and all the rubbish. And we'll be We'll be jet lagged as well, which makes things worse. Oh, you get worse jet lag on the way here if that makes you feel better. That does, to be fair, because <laughs> I didn't have too much this year. I did last year, but not this year so much. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so we're going to do that today, the theme park. I'm not too sure, again, how much we'll record just because we'll be focusing on Ooh. the rides and doing things. Uh, we'll be focusing on doing things and all that, but uh, yeah, we'll do what we can and record what we can. Most of the, most of the Tokyo area you've already seen. Well, the Azakusa area where we're staying, you've already seen in pictures and vlogs, so I won't be taking too many more environmental shots around here. But if there's anything they will be happy enough to show it. Yes, I mean, I will, because I'll be the one taking it. Anyway, we're going to go to the Azakusa theme park now. But first, the 7-Eleven. The first money, ATM, yeah, for like yeah. two. I've, I've still got birthday money off my dad. Lucky Thank you very much. <laughs> I will spend that today. <laughs> spend it wisely. I will spend it wisely on theme parks. Thank you, Dada, and uh, and uh, obviously thank you to everyone else who gave me money for my birthday. It's very much appreciated. I will uh, use it in England when we get home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> We walked on over to the Hanayashiki theme park, wondering what sort of rides the park would have. We're inside the uh, uh, theme park in Asakusa. There's the, the guide. Uh, it's, it's quite small compared to like Disney World, but it looks like it's got like it's got a giant space shot thing, which I'm not going to go on because I don't like them. The Tower of Terror the other day was bad enough. Uh, it's got roller coasters. It's got a swinging ship, which I definitely can't do because they make me feel really nauseous. It's got really swanny things, swans. I could do the easy kiddie rides, there's a carousel, and God knows what else. There's a list of rides here. Look at all those not many rides. Look at the well, price size. This small. is the ride. Oh, that's the ride list. So it's probably not going to be an all day thing, but there's hard, as you can see, there's hardly anyone here, so we're probably going to be able to and get on pretty much everything. You can't uh, use the free pass on. But I. Pardon me. But I want to do the Nazo Toki Hana Komachi. I don't know what one that is. That's expensive. <laughs> well, we'll have a look guys, see what we can go on. Again, probably won't record too much here, but let's do it. As we entered Japan's oldest theme park, which was built in 1853, the first thing we saw was this traditional Japanese style pond where we saw koi fish happily swimming and splashing around. At this park, they are also celebrating the beginning of a new era in Japanese history with this colourful arrangement. The era that spanned from 1989 to 2019 had ended in May of 2019, when the new emperor, Naruhito, ascended to the chrysanthemum throne, succeeding his father, Akihito. This ascension to the throne ended the Heisei era and began the new Arewa era. We began riding some of the smaller rides such as the slow moving helicopter ride that spanned around the whole park.
We also went on the spinning ride that sent you upside down, Little Stars, which was really exhilarating. There was only one roller coaster here and it was quite small, however we enjoyed it so much we went on it about three or four times. This was about the right size coaster for me. And trust us to find a one piece thing in a random uh, theme park. <laughs> of course Lexi's doing this. She's just waiting for her stickers to come out. Which seems to be taking ages. Ah! I'm kidding. Hello homie mates, my name is Smackers and welcome to my Let's Play Sonic Blast Heroes. So today guys we're going to punch a dinosaur to smithereens. Let's do it, let's punch a dinosaur. See that's a dinosaur. You don't want to mess with me. Look at that, 90 kilograms per F. Whatever that means. Oh, that dinosaur's getting owned. Locked it out of the building. One more go. Look at that, he got owned. See, look at that, stage not clear, that means I whooped his ass. I'm good at this game. Watch my reviews and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed. Round, um, part 2 will come out soon. Goodbye for now. We just finished in the Asakusa theme park. It's quite early still as you can see, but uh, there wasn't a lot to do there. Like There was quite a few decent rides, so we went on a couple of rides multiple times. Uh, very fun. Was, Not like It was worth the money though, wasn't it? Yeah, as long as you do things multiple times. It's better for kids, I think, because there's more kids there. There uh, kiddie rides there. But there was a f a f we went on all the kiddie rides. <laughs> we did, because <laughs> we liked them. Uh, but there was a few... Uh, a couple of decent sized rides, like still small for what it was, like compared to Disney, some of them were quite small. Uh, but it was still fun, and now we're going to look for a... Cat cafe, well it's a pet cafe. Well, we're going to go for the cats. Mm -hmm. Meow. We'll probably go for all the animals, no one else. Well yeah, but I want cats. And we're hungry as well, so we're going to yeah, get something to eat. Because we haven't eaten since this morning, hooray. And it's like, I don't know what time it is actually. It is... Half one. Oh, so it's still quite early. But yeah, so I hope you're enjoying this so far. Thank you. I am enjoying it. Soon going home though. Wah. I'm sorry. After going on pretty much every single ride, including the swinging and spinning pirate ship style ride, we moved on to the pet cafe that was shown in an earlier vlog with the puppy in the window. This cafe also had a cat cafe on a floor above, so we chose that cafe and decided to pet and feed some cats. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of this cafe, but it kept us entertained for a while nonetheless. After I realised that the cats were not just hugging, I decided to stop recording and record Lexi feeding the cats instead. Some of the cats were incredibly patient and respectful of the human. However, there were some cats that were quite aggressive in getting the food. 
They nicked Lexi's hand and bit her a few times in their rush to get the food out of her hand. The skinny brown one in particular was a very selfish little bugger. say to me, uh, freaking jeweler, oh sorry, the ring got s swallowed by a cat in Japan. After that close call, Lexi continued feeding the cats. Eventually it was my turn to feed the cats and the brown skinny one was very quick to pounce on me. It wouldn't allow any other cats to get any food. But we tried our best to share the spoils of war around the room. After the cute Neko experience, we went to Denny's for food, where I had a juicy steak, and then we went back to the hotel. Oh, those cats were cute. Adorable. Hours ago, they were very cute. <laughs> I mean, not for you. That uh, was oh, hours us. ago for us. <laughs> yeah. We left the cat cafe like four or five hours ago, uh, but they were so yeah. cute. Like they were eating out of our hands. Very vicious, some of them. Oh uh, yeah, some of them bit us. What, where's your injury? Um, I can't see it now. It was on my thumb somewhere. They were pretty vicious. <laughs> there was one particular vicious one. I'll put it on screen right now. That bastard right there. There, scratching Lexi and biting at her. Naughty cat. He, he, he was proper giving it beans, wasn't he? He was... Giving it beans to get bickies. So yeah, that was fun. I'm glad we got to do one of those before yeah. we left. And I'm glad I got some footage because it's better if you see the cats video-wise rather than just pictures. But tomorrow we're going to the last theme park of the holiday, which I can't remember what it's called. Oh. Yomiori Land. Yomiori. That word. And they uh, have an English website. Hooray! Um, so yeah, we're going to go there. The prices aren't too bad. We're, we've spent a lot of money on this holiday. Just getting <laughs> here was a lot of money, but spending on the actual holiday was enough as well. was a lot. It was probably about the same amount, maybe. Yeah. Tomorrow and the day after are the last two full days. And we bought more Japanese manga today because, you know, why not? And we're going to try and translate it at some point. But anyway, guys, this ends today. Uh, we're going to go to... Well, we're going to relax for a bit, eat something in, in the hotel. And then... Uh, and then... Sleep. Yeah, not do much. 
And then tomorrow, Yoshinori Land, or whatever the hell it was called. Probably got that wrong. Uh, <laughs> and then the day after, I think we're going to the Imperial Palace because it was... Sh I might not have said this on the vlog from yesterday, but it was it did end up being shut. So, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't go yesterday. Yeah. We but we're hoping to go for a nice chilled day on the final full day. Yeah. And go there because it's a nice area. Yes, and is. then Thursday, we fly back. Don't remind me. I know. I stay here. But it hasn't gone too quick. No, it hasn't. It's gone really chill. Mm. And we have been doing ev something every single day. We've been busy every single day and it's kept us busy. It's not been like one of them holidays where you blink and it's gone and you're there like shit. We've enjoyed every single day here. It's been a lovely experience. Very lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. And although there was no proposal this time, we did get interviewed by Japanese TV. I don't know if I mentioned that actually on another vlog. I'm sure I did. Probably. But yeah, hopefully if I find that clip, I'll put it on the vlog at some yeah. point. <laughs> well, if uh, we find it. Here on the screen right now, if we find it. But if we don't, then we haven't found it. So and we're editing this clip out. Yeah. So it doesn't No, matter. we won't edit this clip out. We'll just leave it in to make us look silly. Uh, anyway, goodbye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for day 18, I think it is. Or 19. Day 19. 19. Jesus Christ. Today's day. Oh, yeah, today is 18. So, yeah, see you tomorrow, bozos. Bye. I hope you liked my Let's, pl Let's Play earlier, by the way. The Let's Play, the punching bar bag game where I punched the dinosaur to death. Uh, it did say uh, stage not clear, but in Japanese that means complete, and you are awesome. Those are what it means. So I am the best at that game, no questions asked. Uh, part 2 is coming out soon, expect it within uh, the next 10 years, which is about the same as my usual uploading schedule. Um, so yeah, until then, bye! Bye!